is Spiderman Cafe menu. Proxism will be presented today. We will talk about Proxism discovery, Proxism structure, Proxism function, and quiz game. I'm Dr. Biomed, cellular and molecular biologist. Hi everybody, welcome to the Biomed Cafe channel. In this channel, complex biological and medical contents are presented in a simple, classified, and summarized form. Proxism discovery. They saw something others didn't see. Proxisomes were first described by J. Rodin in 1954. Then, proxisomes were identified as organelles by the Christian Didov in 1967. He discovered that proxisomes contain several oxidases involved in the production of hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 as well as catalase involved in the decomposition of H2O2 to oxygen and water. Proxisome characteristics They are the small membrane-enclosed spherical cellular organelles. They contain oxidative enzymes that are involved in a variety of metabolic reactions. They are found in close association of ER, mitochondria, or chloroplasts within the cell. The number, size, and protein composition of them are variable depending on the energy needs of the cell. They are found in both plants and animal cells. They range from 0.2 to 1.5 micrometers in diameter. Proxisome structure Proxisome has two parts in its structure, membrane and matrix. Membrane is a phospholipid bilayer. It has protein transporters and translocators. Matrix. It has a crystalloid structure containing about 60 enzymes. The enzymes responsible to carry out oxidation reactions leading to the production of H2O2. Main groups of enzymes are urate oxidase, the amino acid oxidase and catalase. Lysosome functions. Function number one, hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 metabolism. H2O2 metabolism can be divided into two parts. Part one, producing H2O2. A specific organic substrate plus O2 by oxidative enzymes creates H2O2 that is toxic. Part number two, eliminating H2O2, especially in liver and kidney cells. H2O2 plus phenols, formic acid, formaldehyde, or alcohol by catalase, create H2O. In addition, when excess H2O2 accumulates in the cell, catalase converts it to water molecule and oxygen. Function number two, fatty acid oxidation. Fatty acid oxidation in animal cells is in proxisomes and mitochondria, but in yeast and plants is in proxisomes. In fatty acid oxidation, long-chain fatty acids by oxidase convert to acetylcoenzyme A. The process name is beta oxidation. Function number three, lipid biosynthesis. Lipids are synthesized by proxisome, for example, cholesterol. Synthesis location is ER and proxism. 
Dolicol. Synthesis location is ER and Proxism 2. Bile acid. Synthesis location is Proxism. And Plasmologins. They are a family of phospholipids. Synthesis location is Proxism. They are important membrane components of tissues of the heart and brain. They form the myelin sheet in nerve fibers. Function number four, seed germination. During seed germination, stored fatty acid in seeds form carbohydrates. It occurs in proxisomes. It plays a role in providing energy and raw materials for the growth of germinating plants. Function number five, photorespiration. Photorespiration is a respiratory process, especially in higher plants, that occurs in light and involves the uptake of O2 and the release of CO2. Proxisomes in leaves, particularly in the green ones, carry out the photorespiration process along with chloroplasts. Function number six, degradation of purines. Catabolism of purines, polyamines, and amino acids, especially but uric acid oxidase, occurs in proxisomes. Function number seven, bioluminescence. Luciferase enzyme found in the proxisomes of fireflies help in bioluminescence and thus aid the flies in finding a mate or its meal. Proxisome interaction with other organelles. One of these organelles is endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Proxisomes interact with ER and cooperate in the synthesis of plasmalogens. Mitochondria. Proxisomes interact with mitochondria in several metabolic pathways, including beta-oxidation of fatty acids and the metabolism of reaction oxygen species, and chloroplast. Proxisome interact with chloroplast in some metabolic pathway, including photorespiration. Now I want to compare proxisomes with mitochondria and chloroplasts. Proxisomes contain no genetic material, but mitochondria and chloroplasts contain genetic material. Proxisomes have single lipid bilayer membrane, but mitochondria and chloroplasts have double membranous structures. Similarity between proxisomes and mitochondria and chloroplasts. In all of them, entire proteome comes through import from the cytoplasm. Key points of proxisomes. They are among the simplest of eukaryotic organelles. They consist of single limiting membrane of lipid and protein molecules enclosing the granular matrix. They are most found in detoxifying organs such as the liver and kidney cells. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and if you like the contents of this video, please like it. Now it's time to the quiz game and puzzle. I have put the link to the quiz game and puzzle in the description of this video. Download it for free and enjoy it. Until the next video. Bye.